constructed by the Temple Institute for Use in the Holy Temple, stood in the Cardo here in the old city of Jerusalem for seven years. It's now been moved to a new location on the stairs that lead to the Western Wall Plaza and, in fact, the Temple Mount. The Bible commands us, and you shall make a menorah of pure gold. Of beaten work shall the menorah be made. To meet this daunting challenge, the Temple Institute, after many months of intensive research, assembled a team of artisans and craftsmen, engineering experts and scientists, to recreate the golden menorah fit for use in the Holy Temple. The menorah contains 95 pounds of pure gold. Today valued at two million dollars, its total weight is one half a ton. To facilitate the move, a special steel frame was devised to protect the menorah throughout the duration of its journey. Silver trumpet blasts are sounded as the workers raise the menorah up out of the Roman cardo and towards its destination alongside the Yehuda Halevi staircase 440 yards away. As it enters into the Jewish Quarter Plaza, throngs of onlookers and well-wishers escort the menorah along its way with jubilant song and dance. For 2,000 years, the Jewish people have become accustomed to the scene depicted on the Arch of Titus, notorious symbol of Jewish exile. Our forefathers, forced to carry the sacred vessels of the Holy Temple out of Jerusalem and into exile. Witnessing the menorah once again being carried through the streets of Jerusalem, but this time towards the Holy Temple, filled the people with an overwhelming feeling that history was being reversed a circle being closed. <laughs> Young girls hold the seven oil lamps, each designed to contain one half lug, 150 grams of pure olive oil. The protective frame is removed and the menorah is set safely in its new position. <laughs> Rabbi Yisrael Ariel of the Temple Institute sets the first oil lamp in place. Yehuda <laughs> Glick, the Institute's director, along with the moving foreman, places the seventh lamp. The seventh night of Hanukkah marked the dedication ceremony, where prominent guests and notables celebrated the golden menorah now standing in its new location. The menorah was unveiled by Yonah Metzger, the chief rabbi of Israel, and Oleg Rabinovich, son of the menorah's main benefactor. Hanukkah really is a story that seems kind of like a dream from days past. The dream of the Jewish people is on its way towards realization. That dream is, of course, the goal of our purpose to be a vessel, a vehicle like the vessel of the, the menorah that brings the light of the Holy One, blessed be He, into the world.